the first arrest of many to come, officials say. Edwin Luyo led a committee to auction off Lima's metro in 2009. He told prosecutors Brazilian construction giant Odebrecht paid him one half million dollars in bribes in an offshore account in Andorra to win the contract. Yo voy a estar presente acá. I will face the facts so deep down the truth is known. I will not run away. I will tell the truth. Odebrecht says it paid $29 million between 2005 and 2014 si no during the governments of Alan Garcia, Alejandro Toledo and Doyanta Humala. Anti-corruption prosecutors say they will call the former presidents to testify, as well as 23 former ministers and regional presidents. Among them, Peru's president Pedro Pablo Kuczynski, who was economy minister during Toledo's tenure. When confession, properly focused, detailed, begins, uh, it is just a matter of a very short time before the facts and the evidence supporting them can be brought here to, to, to make justice. Odebrecht was involved in the construction of highways, irrigation projects, Peru's gas pipeline, the metro, and many other endeavors. Companies, subcontractors, and government officials increased operational costs by more than 100% in some cases. Prosecutors say over the lifespan of three presidencies, the country lost hundreds of millions of dollars on inflated public works contracts, such as the building of this metro line. A congressional committee has requested to freeze Odebrecht's assets in Peru. The government says the company will be barred from any public works in the future. And the judge has banned former President Ollanta Humala and his wife Nadine from leaving Peru without a permit. Alejandro Toledo, who's living in the U.S., says he's not escaping justice, but he hasn't returned to Peru. Many Peruvians are furious at government officials. We want them to be sentenced to life in prison. Not only the presidents, but the ministers, their advisors, and all of the ones involved in the corruption. For now, Odebrecht says it's agreed to pay Peru's treasury a fine as it prepares to reveal the names of all those who took payoffs. Mariana Sanchez Al Jazeera, Lima, Peru.